Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, the host of Hut, and of course I ask you to please subscribe to this channel, like this video. This is going to be a video I'm about on uh, one of the old Mets, uh, Ray Knight, the 1986 World Series MVP and third baseman uh, that was part of that uh, memorable team. Now before we get into that, uh, this is the kind of channel you can get, I do daily Met videos every day, ergo daily videos and I give you everything you want in terms of Mets content current Mets past ten, uh, Mets and and future Mets so this is the channel you want to watch so here we go Ray Knight there was the big old timers day on Saturday on this past weekend it was an amazing no pun intended ceremony uh, Steve Cohen and his family have doing an amazing incredible job of connecting the fans back with its history and to bring in all these old players and and acknowledge all the great things that these guys have done for the us you can't say enough things about about the Wolpons. they've they retired Keith Hernandez's number obviously they, uh, retired uh, Willie Mays's number which was a shock to everybody nobody knew that was going to happen even I didn't know that um and they bring in all these old players, and they brought in the families of all these old timers, like the like Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra played for the Mets, if you didn't know that, as well as managed the team. Uh, and they brought in his family. Uh, they brought in a Tom Seaver's daughter and his granddaughter. They did such a just a spectacular job. Well, one of the things we're so glad about. One of the many things, the biggest thing really, is the fact that, that the Wilpons no longer own this team. Uh, they have sort of neglected Mets history. They also neglected a big part of, the, of where the Mets have come from. They neglected the Giants history. Uh, as you know, you don't know, Fred Wilpon was a big Dodgers fan back in his youth. And if you go into City Field, it's all about the Dodgers, the Dodgers, the Dodgers. That was a big criticism that the Bullpons took uh, when they built City Field. There's no Giants presence in that ballpark. It's a beautiful ballpark. I love it. But it's all an homage to Ebbets Field and to the Dodgers. And the Mets get their presence from both teams. If you didn't know this, Jay, Joan Payson, the, the original owner of the Mets, was a minority owner of the Giants. So, the Wilpons are very, were very negligent in terms of how they treated uh, the Mets' past. Now, Ray Knight, things did not end well when Ray Knight left the Mets. Uh, give you a little background on him. The Mets picked him up from the Houston Astros in the in August of 1984, and he played with the Mets. And I get what they did was they they had Yubi Brooks who was the third base, and they moved Yubi to short uh, for down the stretch. They wanted to get a little more offense uh, in that position. 1985 comes in, they had brought in Howard Johnson to be this sort of platoon part with Ray Knight, and they were going to be a platoon. Now Ray Knight had all kinds of injuries in 1985. Uh, I was not a big fan of Ray Knight uh, in those in that year because he just, I think because he was hurt, he was just lousy. That spring training of 1986, the Met front office wanted to release him, believe it or not. And it was uh, former Mets manager, David Johnson, who uh, vouched for him. He's like, he's going to have a big year. Don't release him. Now, going into the season, he was not the starter. He was sort of still part of the platoon of Howard Johnson. Well, he became a big part of the team, as you know. Now, he won the National Comeback Player of the Year that year. You didn't know that. Uh, because he was an all-star with the uh, Cincinnati Reds. He was a good player with the Houston Astros. So he made a big comeback in his career. Now, after the Mets won the World Series, and he won the MP. He scored the deciding run in Game 6, as you all know. And he also uh, won the, uh, hit the big home run, as you saw at the beginning of this video. The day of the parade, which was the next day, was that Tuesday. 
He was brought into the Met into a former general manager's general manager Frank Cash, and he was offered a contract. <laughs> it was basically take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Now I'm going to read you certain things that Knight said, and that he was if I remember right, he was offered eight hundred thousand dollars for the following season, for nineteen eighty seven. Which, according to this article from CBS.com, um, it was five thousand dollars more than what he earned in nineteen eighty six. They didn't offer him a two year deal; they offered him a one year deal. Now he went and signed a one year, de- two year deal with the uh, the uh, the Orioles, and that was a dis- it was just not a good contract, and it was just a disaster. Plus, we had collusion. But anyway, let me read you what he said uh, from Old Timers Day. Quote. It's a special thing for me to be here and feel like maybe I'm back part of the organization because Steve Cohen came in and spoke to me today. I hadn't spoken to Jeff Wilpon in 30 years, period. Never was invited back except for the 30-year World Series reunion. I was never invited throughout the first pitch. None of that stuff. And that hurts because you give everything you have and you expect somebody to give a little back. And that's what this organization is doing now. Now, if you didn't know this, Ray Knight was part of the Na- Washington Nationals broadcast team for a long time. So he was coming into Shea Stadium, coming into City Field. And just imagine, you know, the Wilpons never, you know, Jeff Wilpon, the owner, never wanted to talk to him. You know, the, the big line was really uh, from this weekend is, here we go. It hurts to this day, it says. I love the New York Mets. I don't like the Wilpons. I don't like any of that deal. Continues. I didn't even enjoy the parade. It just never went away. The hurt never went away. Because it never changed. I felt like here we are such a close-knit unit and each person pulling strong and hard and we were a collection of a bunch of pieces that fit together in the clubhouse. A lot of talent, but the right blend. And that makes such a difference. They tore the heart of that ball club when they let me go and they let Kevin Mitchell go because we were two guys who made the difference, made a difference in that clubhouse. Howard Johnson was a better player than me, no doubt about it. It wasn't Hojo. It was the other people who came in who didn't have that same intensity. Now, that comment, that particular comment, is basically for, you remember, Kevin McReynolds. Kevin McReynolds came in that offseason. Uh, he w- went. And he came back in the, the big trade that sent uh, Kevin Mitchell to the Padres. So that is really, uh, you know, that, that was really a big difference. He was a really good player. If you saw Kevin McReynolds, he was a good player. But... Baseball wasn't his life. He was a guy that really, he just wanted to fish and hunt. And baseball was not his life. And when you have such an intense group and you bring somebody in like that. And the funny thing is he was a great clutch hitter. But he just, he he got a lot out of his, he didn't get more out of his talent than he probably could have. And he he had great talent. But just didn't have enough in the, in the you know, I don't know, it's just a weird... Just he just looked at it as a job. He's a very strange uh, player, but um, and like he said, Howard Johnson gets a lot of blame for those years because Hojo. They said, well, he wasn't intense enough. Hojo got a lot of big hits late in the game. Just didn't have good postseason numbers. But let me know what you think about this video. What do you think about what Ray Knight said? Aren't you glad the Aren't you glad the Wolpons are gone? They caused a lot of trouble here, especially the Jeff Wolpon. Well, let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Your comments in the comments section. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later.